Hello and welcome to the Microscope Room. My name is Patrick Keeling and today we're going to do a video with step-by-step -step instructions to make your own microscope. We use microscopes a lot in my lab, but we're not going to build a complex one like these research microscopes. We're going to build one that's very simple. But it's also very historically interesting because it's a replica of the microscope that was first used by Anton van Leeuwenhoek in the 1600s when he discovered the microbial world. Leeuwenhoek's microscopes were actually very, fairly complex. This is a replica of one here. It's made of brass, has a glass lens, and a sophisticated little mechanism to hold the sample and to focus and so forth. He made hundreds of these, and they're very complex to make. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a microscope that functions very similarly, but is a lot easier to make, and is made out of very simple materials. Paper. So you can make your own paper microscope. The video takes about a minute and a half if you just follow along. All the instructions are there uh, to show you how to do it yourself and how to mount a specimen, how to focus, um, and it's a lot of fun. So let's get down to it. Step is melt a piece of glass in a flame. When it's soft, pull it out of the flame and stretch it really fast. It makes it very thin. Now break it and take the thin tip and insert it into the flame very slowly and evenly. If you do it very slowly, you'll form a perfect sphere of glass at the end of the thin piece. Under the microscope it should look like this, a lollipop of glass with a sphere connected to a thin stalk. You should not get a teardrop shape. This won't work very well. The next step is take your paper, one piece thin, one thick. Line them up, drill a hole. A common 1 8 inch drill bit works fine here. Tape the lollipop of glass so that the lens is over the hole on the thick piece of paper. Now line up the hole in the thin piece of paper as well. Hold it up to the light to make sure that both your holes and the lens are all lined up perfectly. When you've got it perfect, staple the whole thing together. The sample is mounted using sticky tack. So stick your sample to the sticky tack and then stick the sticky tack on the thin paper side. You focus it by pivoting. So you push your finger down and the sticky tack pulls the sample away from the lens. You push it up, it pushes the sample closer to the lens. You can use liquid samples by putting a drop of liquid between two cover glasses with a little bit of wax to hold it apart. This sample shows the protists that live inside the gut of a termite. So by now you should have yourself a little paper microscope that should work great. Um, I've already showed you how to focus it and all you have to do is mount your specimen on there, get your finger on the focus, hold it up to the light and tweak it until you can see it coming into focus. You can also mount these right on your cell phone, which is what I've done to take the microscopic pictures in this video, and you treat them exactly the same way. Just tape it over the lens of your cell phone so you can see the screen and then pivot the, the sample up and down to focus. And if you look at my webpage, you'll see there's uh, written instructions for making your own microscope. And they actually carry on to show you how to use a laser to determine uh, the magnification of the lens that you made. So anyway, I hope that was interesting and informative, and I hope you get a chance to try this yourself.